It really doesn't get much better than this. Here at Loveland Water and Power, we're constantly striving to make our city an even better place to live, work, and play. We take pride in providing healthy, clean, reliable water to all, from bakeries to breweries, care centers to coffee shops, and throughout all the neighborhoods. Delivering fresh, safe, good-tasting water is what we're dedicated to. Sometimes, though, our efforts can get tripped up by the smallest of things. You may have noticed it, an occasional odor or taste. Now our water is completely safe. There's nothing unhealthy about it. And when I say this is caused by the smallest of things, that's exactly it. Algae is a naturally occurring microscopic organism. It occurs in all natural water bodies. Its role is to provide nutrients and photosynthesize to create a healthier environment. Green Ridge Glade Reservoir has numerous species of algae, some of which release taste and odor. One species in particular produces more than others. It's called anabina, and it's very common to this area. Many municipalities see it, and other locations across the United States and the world have this same taste and odor producer. We see this algae at varying times per year, but the main time of year that it releases taste and odor is late summer through fall to the beginning of winter. A common question that we get is, is it coming into my house, am I drinking it in my water? And the answer is no. When we have algae blooms in the reservoir, our treatment system effectively removes the algae, but there can be uh, residual taste and odor effects from the algae. There's a, a compound called geosmin that uh, most people can smell and taste. It's that earthy smell and taste that you would uh, relate to lake water or something like that. Safe. Great tasting water is a very high priority for us, so we take this very seriously. We've installed some solar powered mixers. Solar bees are a device that slowly makes the surface of our reservoir and thus prevent the algae from growing where it likes to, reducing a potential algal bloom. Loveland Water and Power needed four of these devices and recently they were brought on site and assembled and installed in our reservoir. Because of the increased algae blooms that we've had, the Water Quality Lab is reformatting its water quality monitoring program for Green Ridge Glade Reservoir. We will be going out multiple times per week and collecting algae samples and analyzing them for taste and odor in order to better predict and react to a bloom. By increasing our monitoring, we're going to be able to select water at different depths within our reservoir in order to select the best water quality coming into the plant. Even though Loveland Water and Power is implementing these in-reservoir mitigation strategies, there still is a chance that an algal bloom may occur. In the event that we do see an algae bloom, Loveland Water and Power is contracting with a lake management company to provide backup algicide in order to help keep these blooms at bay. We are also looking at some mitigation of chemical dosing in the water plant, the process itself. We do plan on studying the powder activated carbon we use this year and optimize that particular process to ensure that we are removing as much geosmin as possible to completely eliminate taste and odor issues. If we're still seeing some lower level taste and odor issues, we just recommend that folks use a carbon-based filter, bring a pitcher filter or the type of filter that you can thread onto your faucet. We'll be utilizing the website as well as Facebook and Twitter. We'll be able to let you know what mitigation or strategies we're taking to prevent the problems and anything that you can do yourself to reduce the taste and odor problems if there are any in the future. Loveland Water and Power staff will closely monitor the effects of the mitigation strategies and continue to assess emerging technologies to make sure that we are doing everything we can to remove any of those taste and odor compounds that result from algae. All these strategies are just the latest in our ongoing efforts to ensure the residents of Loveland have the best tasting, healthiest water possible. And we won't stop now. We'll keep looking for better and better ways to mitigate taste and odor issues. Loveland Water and Power is working hard to make our city even better. Even when it's the smallest of things.